All right. Have you done it yet? Probably not. <laughs> Whatever it is, probably not. <laughs> well, I have. The question is, have you gone to the thermostat and switched the heat on? If you haven't yet, you will no doubt be doing it soon. Of course, that comes at a cost, a fairly hefty cost, depending on just how warm you like it. You bet. And joining us this morning, HGTV Canada's Kenny Brain to share with us some ways that we can reduce our home heating bills as we head into the cooler months. Kenny, good to see you as always. Good morning. Good to see you. Thanks for having me. All right. How can we avoid, uh, I mean, where do we start here? Because uh, there's nothing worse than putting on the heat and then a month or two later looking at that bill and you're getting paying all for it. hot and bothered. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think to start off, if you're in a home that's 20, 30 years old and you haven't renovated, it's time to change out your windows and doors. I mean, the lifespan of a window is, what, 15, 20 years-ish before it starts to, to fail. So, the, the you know, energy-efficient materials have come leaps and bounds in that time frame. So, it's the single-pane windows just aren't going to cut it anymore. Okay. Now, that can be quite costly. Yep. What are some other things homeowners can do? Well, there are rebates to help offset the cost for sure, but if it's not in the budget, it's not in the budget. So you work with what you got. Check your existing windows. If you have any crumbling, cracking, caulk, get them recocked. Um, a tube is relatively inexpensive. Anybody can do it. It's actually kind of satisfying to do, I'm not going to lie. Um, and also, I wouldn't sleep on, you know, window treatments. You can get thermal drapes, you can get thermal blinds, you know, keep them closed at night, keep them open during the day, and it's going to help that much more. Oh, that's interesting. Have you heard of that before? Because I've never heard of thermal drapes. Yeah. Okay. I think I have. Yeah, okay. <laughs> You're always on sure. top of it. <laughs> All right, uh, we've talked windows and doors uh, so far, uh, Kenny. Are there any other areas of the home that we should be concerned about when it comes to a heat, heat loss, and heating costs? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, insulation is also going to be a huge factor. So you want to make sure all your exterior walls are properly insulated and vapor barriered. And you're going to want to pay special attention to your electrical outlets. I mean, it's pretty easy for insulation to be displaced around those boxes, those junction boxes. So um, if you don't want to open up your drywall just yet, you can actually get these plates and these inserts to cover your outlets. And it's going to give you a little bit more insulation power until you open up the drywall, obviously. Hmm, okay. Uh, the furnace. What about the furnace? What should we do this time of year? Well, I think a huge one for me is uh, smart thermostats. You know, it's going to be a smart investment. It's going to save you money no matter what. Um, like the, the smart one, Daikin thermostat here. Mm -hmm. Not only, obviously, it is a beautiful interface. It's super sleek and smart. Yeah. But we have to start really kind of thinking about how we heat our homes. Um, and this is going to give you ultimate control on how much energy you use. So if you're not home, you leave the house and you forget to turn down the thermostat, you can pick up your phone, beep, boop, beep, you turn it down. I mean, obviously, I do this every day. I'm not going to lie. I don't remember to turn down the thermostat. On the way home, same thing. You can turn it back up so it's nice and toasty when you get there. So. I think that's a super important one. Yeah. Is that what you mean when you say, and I'm really intrigued by this phrase, that we need to rethink the way that we uh, heat our homes? Is that what you mean by that? Like, uh, turn it down and then turn it back up, or what well, exactly? I mean, a little A, a little B. I mean, I think we really need to start thinking about the heat pump system itself. You know, you want it to use less space. Uh, you want it to be quiet. You want it to use less energy. But you still want quality air. So my suggestion is do your due diligence, you know. Sustainability isn't just a trendy topic anymore. I think it's something that we have to think about what we do all the way up to the companies we use. And like, you know, for example, Daikin with the, the OnePlus smart thermostat, you know, they create products to do more for less, whether it's, you know, less waste, less energy, less material. And that makes them number one in home indoor solutions because, you know, they know the air we share is the only air we have and there shouldn't be a compromise in that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, is there also a filter with the furnace? Is this the time of year we change it? Yes, filters? yes, yeah. that's another huge one. I mean, you change out your filters and that's going to save you money. Okay. It's going to make it more efficient. Awesome. I hate to say it, when I hear filters, I automatically think about my phone and Instagram these days. <laughs> You're right. Uh, ah, Valencia. <laughs> yeah. Both well, yeah. filters are very important. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in this day and age, absolutely. <laughs> All right, some great tips. Kenny, thank you so much. Great to see you as always. Pleasure. Thank you. And we're back after this break here in the morning show.